Hey everybody, this is Shake and Bake from Copy Bug Paste. Gonna do a quick video here to give you guys an update um, of what's coming out today. Just a quick high uh, light of the parts you're gonna be getting. I think you guys are gonna like these. Uh, the team has really been working hard trying to get these updates out and uh, they're just doing fantastic. So let's get to it. Uh, here's the parts and a quick overview. Make sure you read the entire dev blog though. It goes into more detail, uh, but here we go. Electric motor is back from H HB13, uh, but much uh, improved here in HB14. We have solar uh, panels, a sport spoiler, the Uber spoiler, and the time box. We have a note box. We have a strobe light. And last, not, last but not least, the single output sequence box. Let me go ahead and stick these on here real quick, guys. And I'll tell you a little bit more about them. Uh, but again, read the change log. It has more detail. Uh, this is just to get you guys excited uh, about these new parts that you guys can play with uh, this weekend in Homebrew. Or this week in Homebrew. Um, you guys are going to be creating some more amazing things. We know it with these parts. Um... We have no doubts. The stuff we're seeing uh, being created by uh, the community is just blowing our minds. You know, this the stuff that's being made, you think it's going to be used for one thing, and the next thing you know, you got somebody making something totally unexpected, and uh, that's the magic of it. It's just like, wow, we never thought someone would make something like that out of that. Uh, there's the spoiler. Let's get the Uber one. Let's flip this. There we go. All right, let's stick this right here. Okay, I think I got all the parts there. Let's clean up. All right, so let's go first. We'll start off with the solar panels. Uh, this is the size kind of replicated the real world size of a solar panel and kind of how they function. In the future, there will be bigger solar panels. Uh, but the thing you need to know is... Um, their output is being calculated based on the sun visibility and angle. Uh, while the panels won't generate electricity at night, you'll still be able to get 100% in the shadows in the daytime. Uh, so looking forward to see what people are gonna create with these solar panels. Uh, that'll be awesome as a power source. Electric motors are back. And here's one right here. Nice for building small vehicles. Uh, all you need is batteries to power those and uh, Similar to HB13, one thing though is the motor itself has an AMP input, which basically indicates how much power it drains. Uh, and I'll bring that up on the right so you can see this right, a amp drainage. You actually can increase that number and get more power, uh, but it is gonna drain your batteries faster. Uh, new spoilers, again, we got the blue one here and we got the Uber one here. Uh, the blue one here, you can adjust this, um, this flap here and set an angle based on the downforce you want to create with that. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Those are looking awesome. Um, strobe light. We got a strobe light. Where did I stick the strobe light at, guys? Right here. Uh, this strobe light, uh, you can set the flash seconds interval, the intensity. You can increase that number and make it brighter. You also can enable it to strobe or not strobe. Pretty cool. Uh, time box right over here. Where's that time box at? There's the note box. I stuck these all over the place. Here's a time box. So basically this time box is, it's gonna allow you to put a display up if you want, or you can you can hook this up to some logic box. And basically this, this is gonna tell you the time of the day in the sandbox world of homebrew. And um, let me just bring that up here in the tuner for you. Here's this time box. You got time and you got day um, that you could hook this up to. And then in the display, you can set the number of decimal points and it'll, it'll adjust that display if you wanted to show like, you know, hours and minutes. You could even have seconds showing. Uh, so that'll be cool. So again, you can, you can hook that up to a logic box and based on what time it is, you could have things happen as well. Um, let's look at the note box. I think a lot of people are gonna be excited about this. And I'll show you a vehicle that I threw together real quick with this note box. But basically you're gonna be able to create music in homebrew or sounds, whatever you want. Um, basically you've got an instrument sound, you got 128 uh, options on instruments basically, and a note set of minus 60 to 60. And um, 
hook this up, uh, you activate it, and you're gonna have that sound. You can use logic boxes. Um, you also can use, which I'm gonna talk about next, is you can use the uh, single output sequencer. Don't say that too fast. And that is right here. And this is gonna allow you to add output numbers to it to allow a sequence to happen. Uh, for example, let's say you want to close your doors, turn on the lights, and start your engine. That's the sequence. You'll be able to do that with the um, with the single output sequencer part. Okay. Uh, the other example. Let's say you wanted to create a note block. You want to, you know, find some uh, piano sheet music or something, um, and you want to create a song in the game. You could hook up uh, the single output uh, box to um, a, a note box, you could create different notes in there and basically make a song. And we know people are going to create some crazy stuff with that. We can't wait. Um, now, one thing we'll tell you is when they might hang up a little bit with the note block when you respawn the vehicle. Uh, we know about that. We're working on that uh, as far as optimizing that. But don't don't panic. Uh, we know about it, and uh, you, you, the the vehicle will spawn and be fine. So. Uh, there are some additional changes, but look at the change log for that. I just wanted to show you the parts real quick so you could see that. And what I'm going to do is actually exit here. And I'm going to show you uh, one vehicle I did. Uh, one of the current ones. I just threw some sounds in it. Uh, nothing too fancy, but just to kind of show you how this, um, how this works. All right, let's go jump in the profit here. I have to throw some solar panels on top of there. I was having a little fun. Uh, but we're in the vehicle, and let's say I hit my P key. I added that little sound. And let's say I hit my L key. Just different sounds you can play with. Just like that. And that's just a simple version of what I did. Uh, let's go ahead and pull up, and I'll show you the uh, electric car here I threw together. And this was um, using the electric motors. And this thing hauls butt. You see the strobing light right there? Let's just jump in that. And let's uh, let's change the view here, guys. And this will allow... You, know, you guys know I love the small cars. Say the milk, man. And so now you can get really small. And... <laughs> The electric motors are awesome. And this, this the amp level set on one of this, but I even had it up to like 10. And I mean, it really went fast then. Uh, but this is going to allow you, you won't have to use those big, bigger engines. And you can use these smaller, uh, not as heavy electric engines if that's what you're looking for. You can see that blinking strobe there. Just a lot of fun. That is just awesome. Okay, guys, I'm going to wrap the video because this is holding up the update. So check out the change log. And uh, look forward to your comments, your feedback. And again, we, on behalf of Copy Bug Paste, we thank you for the support, the encouragement, the patience, and uh, we will see you guys in the game. Cheers, peace.